Super Mario asking his fresh-natured mama for a foamin' cup. She says, Listen, face. Retweet. PK Thunder. Shaboom. Pop. Make lots of lovin'. Specifically, on the crapper. A lupin miss with a coffee tea? Sure. But with such new fish, there is no safe place to pee. That means the fishin' foes, Mr. Funnel and Mr. Not It. Kiss and shake up. That is how I remember the first hundred digits of pi. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I just finished reading. I just finished reading this wonderful book called Moonwalking with Einstein. It's about this journalist who was sent to go cover, uh, make a, a report, a column on these world champions of memory, these mental athletes. But he became so invested in them that he sought training from them and he eventually became the U.S. memory champion. <laughs> and he placed quite well on the world stage. Now, these memory techniques, nothing new. They were considered by the ancients an art of its own. Think about it. Before smartphones, before newspapers, before the printing press... If people wanted to learn something, they had to commit it to memory. They came up with all these intricate memory techniques, uh, such as the, the famous memory palace, uh, c turning all these strings and entries of, of mental information into clear and vivid, vivid imagery in order for the poets, the bards from millennia ago, for them to be able to recall it and recite it easily. That's how the Iliad, the Odyssey, the, the, the first four books in the New Testament, and possibly more books from the Bible, they were originally passed from mouth to ear. And nowadays, it seems that we don't even care about memory. If we want to look something up, we ask Mr. Google a question on our smartphone, we look it up, then we forget about it within the next two minutes. It's gone. It's gone out of our short-term memory. The author, Joshua Foer, he mentions that we should, we should pay tribute to our ancestors and give our memories the respect they deserve because our memories are the foundation of who we are. They are the seat, uh, he says, that they're, they're the seat of our values, our character, our personality, and everything that surrounds us. They are the essence of our soul. That being said, I will use one of the methods called the, the major system, which turns a string of numbers into letters, which in turn can be turned into words, which can then be construed any way I want in order to make a wild, crazy, imaginative, visual narrative that will convert the first hundred digits of pi into this story in my head, the one I said at the beginning of the video. Here goes. Well, before I begin, the first few numbers, I use uh, the, the song from the 80s, Jenny. <laughs> The first few digits of pi are 3.14159926535389. Now here's where the fun begins. Oh, 
I don't know if that's right. <laughs> um, th that took a little too long. This exercise, learning the first hundred digits of pi, is said to be the uh, the Kool Aid, if you will, of getting into the hobby of memorizing and improving the wonderful organ that is your brain that we've all been privileged to have. With that, I say, have a good rest of your evening or day, whatever time zone you're in. Keep your mind busy. Remember the things that matter. Take care and kick ass.